Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we'll talk about how we export our tokens to JSON code. I will show you different ways. So whatever we are using Figma variables or tokens to the plugin, let's see the options we have to export the tokens. Okay, so at the beginning, let's say I have here some levels of tokens. For example, this is the primitives or option tokens. So, and also I have alias tokens or semantic tokens, and also I have some component specific tokens, light and dark mode. Okay, and I'm using Figma variables. So, in this case, maybe you can have here some plugins to can export your tokens to JSON code. But maybe some of you say, okay, so Sama, why you are not using div mode? Because div mode here, if I go to div mode, for example, I select this button so here actually i can see the variable yeah the final one that's mean looks like i already exported to json code after that i convert this json code to css so i can see here this button have some variables for example button primary default width and also another one for height and another one for corner radius another one for background colors okay. and in this case i have to copy this manually so for example i can click here to copy okay and i paste it in a specific file to hide it over to the developers or i also have to select this like this because i don't need the fist okay so this looks like have some manual steps okay but to get the best benefits from design tokens to make the process automatic okay uh, let's see also what if we have for example here ios i can do also like that i want to show you the tokens so for example here i can see we have some tokens for button primary default weights i don't know where is the value here it's supposed to have a value in somewhere i'm not sure where so maybe here yeah so you have to copy this for example for widths okay and also you have to copy this one for widths okay you can see the values here and we are not sure actually now how we make it in one file and so on okay that's why i don't prefer div mode until now so okay we as a designers how we export so i prefer here to use some plugins to export so if you just type variables or export variables so we will find some plugins here i usually use this too but this one if i want to export the variables and i hit the variables i can see the primitives and in the same file actually if you scroll you can see the alias after that you can see the light mode for component specific tokens and the last one you can see the dark mode but this one you cannot copy like that and try to go to for example the configurator to convert from json code to css ios android and so on because this is not following the json code structure okay that's why i prefer the other one otherwise it's not also helping me that much but it's a little bit better so this is the second uh, plugin they yeah, have variables import and exports so i hit export you can see i have here this is the primitives and if i scroll down here or you can see this is the end of the primitives after that the alias okay so how can i use this one so for me actually the primitives it's not started from here this is the beginning of json code okay the primitives start from here until until here actually this is the start and end of the primitives and this one and the one above actually the, the start and the end for the json code file okay so in this case if i select all if i select all this code from primitives and i go to for example to empty file here empty json file any name dot json okay and i paste this one also i have to back here to find the alias tokens so alias tokens i will not copy from the beginning to end i will copy only from this one okay until i find the end of alias tokens i will not copy this until only here so in this case you have to back again to your json code and you remember this is our end of json code and this is of the beginning ok 
okay this is a beginning of our primitives okay so in this case here I will go here I will skip this one I will go here at comma enter and I paste my code okay so now I'm trying to make my JSON code correct okay then I will copy the light mode so this is a light mode for example so you can copy it like this okay and also you will follow same here you can just do it like that comma enter and you paste it maybe also if you want to also copy the dark mode it's up to you okay so now this is my JSON code this is ready if you go to the style dictionary configurator for example we will cover this in different video you will get any any issue for that yeah your JSON code will be structured maybe another issues because we don't have back pixel here or something but yeah I gonna teach you how uh, to handle this okay but as a JSON code structure we have no issue okay what are the other options okay the other option is you can use the tokens studio plugin to export the tokens you created under your Figma variables okay so this is my Figma variables tokens and this is my token studio plugin so how I can use the token studio plugin to export for me all the tokens I created on Figma okay so in this case let's start with new md5 okay so we have here an option I think this feature is premium feature you have to subscribe for token studio plugin who can have this feature to import the variables directly from Figma variables to here okay give you some stuff here actually to convert the number to dimension I will tell you actually this one what is this meaning each token has a type so for example you can see this token is a color and the type for it is a color and because this spacing actually is a number so the type is number so tokens studio plugin team they created also a configurator to help us to convert the JSON code coming from the plugin to different programming language like CSS, CSS, iOS, Android and so on so if you check the documentation actually for this configurator if you have any type of token as a number without any pixel here it's okay but if you wanted to add pixel here to get the, the real and correct and working uh, CSS file for example this is supposed to be dimension not number okay so for example here the code coming from the Figma variables actually the type is number for some tokens so if you select here convert number to dimension yeah this will have the pixels okay so later we will go in deep dive in this uh, features okay so let me hit import right now so we give you the preview and if you click import all I can see this global actually it was here from the beginning it's empty I can delete it but here under primitives I can see mode 1 I don't know why and also under alias I can see light I don't have light okay and under tokens I have light and dark this makes sense but here maybe you can just right click and rename it so maybe we can remove primitives and slash or remove everything included the stash and keep primitives only and maybe also for alias I do same I remove all of this I keep only alias and for tokens light and dark I'm okay to have it okay so this is for primitives no issue for alias yeah I can see no issue but actually to, to make sure you don't have any issue you can see this is component specific tokens and the value actually coming from alias so this alias supposed to be source for me okay and also we go here the primitives also supposed to be source okay good so this dark mode also okay I have to have so now if I go here to export my tokens so but now I'm selecting dark if I click here you can see I'm only exporting the dark okay but if I select here all token sets that's mean I can export the primitives alias light and dark and all okay and this can come be in one file maybe here I select can be in multiple files okay so in this case let's see okay I will select all later also we will explain this in a specific videos what is this option for and how these features can help us 
Okay, so if I export all like this and let's say, okay, this is my file, let me replace it. You can see the primitives started from here. And after I finish the primitives, you can see the alias. And when the alias finish, you can see the light mode and also you can see the dark mode here. So this code is okay, has no issue. Once you go to configurator to convert it to CSS or CSS, you will not have any issue. Okay, so what if you don't have a premium account for to consider your plugin and you will not use this feature? So how can I use a token studio plugin to export for me the code? In this case, we have to do manually. So let me delete all the tokens we have created here. Okay. Sorry, let me delete all. Okay. So in this case, if you try to open the token studio plugin again, you will find it's empty. Okay. So it's empty file. So we can export the code using our plugin okay to just import it again manually to the custodian plugin so let's say for example in the primitives in the primitives i will copy here and this time i will copy the old code okay so this is a primitives so i will copy it like that and i have to go open again to the plugin and in this time maybe we can rename this one to primitives Okay. and you can navigate here and just select all here remove and paste your code and add save json so once you back here again you will find your tokens here and you have to do same for the rest of your tokens collections so in this time for example let's go to the alias tokens okay so the alias tokens also i will copy the old code for alias tokens okay so let me do same, okay? For alias, for light mode, for dark mode, okay? And last one, we can go to our tokens studio plugin and we can create a new set. So this is a new set. Let's say this is a dark mode. I will create and also I will go here, replace all of this and hit save. So now we have all the tokens. So I just need to do like that. And the alias can be the source and primitive also can be my source. Okay, so now I have copied all the tokens here so I can export. Export is a free feature. So this is a different way. You can copy the old tokens and you do it here and blah, blah, blah and update. Okay, so Later in the coming videos, we will also show you how we can preview this JSON code and like a drawing, a chart and a flow to can understand more instead of maybe you can, under, it's not easy to understand here and what is this coming from and so on. So we have some tools actually to help you to preview your tokens flow as a JSON code. And after that, also, we can check also the configurator in different videos, how we convert the JSON code to different uh, programming language like CSS, ASS, Android, and iOS, Flutter, and so on. Okay, so that's it for today. See you again. Bye.